Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to find the real number equivalent of this hexadecimal. It's going to be CE, C0, the 1 bit sign, 4 bit bias exponent, 11 bit fraction, and the bias offset equal to 7. So the way we could find the real number equivalent is we're going to follow 5 easy steps. So step 1 is going to be to convert to binary. So we could say convert to binary. And we want to convert to binary, we want to convert our hexadecimal. 0x just means it's a hex, so we don't have to worry about it. So we only care about CEC0. So we can write CEC0. The way we can convert it to binary, we could find whatever like real number corresponds to C. I think that's 12, and then convert 12 into, into a binary. So we could do that, it's, it's possible, but I don't want to do all that math. So we're just going to use our trusty little chart. So we're going to find C and the hexadecimal part, which corresponds to 12, and then 12 in binary is going to be 1100. 1100. Now we're going to find E. E corresponds to the number 14, and then 14 is going to be 1110. C we know is 1100 because we already did it before. 0 in hex corresponds to 0 in decimal, which is going to be four zeros. So that's that. Step one is done. We can get rid of our chart because it served its purpose. So now I'm just going to label everything. So we know the first bit is the sign bit. If the sign bit is 1, it's negative. So that's all that means. And the next four bits is going to be our bias exponent. So I'm going to call it BE, in short for bias exponent. To the right of the bias exponent, we're going to have a decimal. And then everything followed by the decimal is our fraction or also referred to as the mantisa. That says mantisa is just a little sloppy. Let's move the decimal up here. So there's the decimal. So now we have everything labeled out, we can move on to step two. Step two is to calculate the bias exponent. So we can say calculate biased exponent. So we already know the bias exponent is going to be equal to 1001. Zero, zero, one. So we just have to convert, convert that from binary uh, to real number. So we could say 1, 2, 4, 8, and these are just powers of 2. If the number corresponds to 0, if it's under 0, that means it's turned off, so we don't care about it. So the two middle ones are turned off. So we could say 8 plus 1 equals a 9. 1 is 0, 0, 1 as a real number is going to be 9. So we could say our biased exponent is 9. Step 2 is done. And then you move on to step 3. Step three is the calculator exponent. It's a little sloppy, but it, that just says calculate exponent. And there's actually a little formula to calculate the exponent. We could say the exponent equals the biased exponent, which we found to be nine, minus the bias. Bias is given to us, which is gonna be seven. So we could do nine minus seven equal to two. So our exponent is gonna be equal to two. So that step's done. Now we can move on to step four. Step four, we're going to convert to scientific notation. That's the scientific notation. I'm sorry, my writing's terrible. So the way we're going to do that, we're going to bring everything to the right of the decimal down, or we just we labeled that as a fraction or mantisa. So we're going to bring our fraction down. I'm going to put the decimal here. But before we do that, there's always going to be a 1 to the left of the fraction. So now we just bring everything down. We have 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. This is just this up here. That's all I did. I just brought it down. And now we're going to convert that to scientific notation by multiplying that times 10 to a power of something. And then our something is going to be our exponent. So you could say 10 to a power of 2. So that's that in scientific notation. Since we're multiplying it to a positive exponent, we could also move our decimal over twice. So if we move our decimal over here, our number is going to be 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. So these two numbers are the exact same. They're equivalent. Then our decimal is going to be right here. So now we could move on to step 5. And now we can convert from binary to a real number. 
let's say from binary. We'll just say RN, which stands for real number, just because I'm running out of space. Let me go over this step again. Decimal was right here. Since we're multiplying it times up 10 to the power of 2, we can move our decimal over twice. So our decimal would be right there. So our number would be 111 decimal followed by this number, which would be 01100 followed by four zeros. All you got to realize is these two numbers are the exact same thing. That's all we're doing. And now we're going to convert this number from binary to a real number. So we could split it up to make it easier because I know how to convert 111 almost by, like in my head. So we could do 111, it's going to be 1, 2, 4. As we did before, if it's a 0, we don't care about the number, but if it's a 1, we care. So all of these are 1, so we could do 4 plus 2 plus 1, which is just 7. So 111 in binary is going to be equal to the real number of 7. And then we have our decimal right here. And then if it's to the right of the decimal, we can multiply it times negative powers of 2. So you can do 2 to the negative 1, 2 to the plus 2 to the negative uh, 2 to the negative 2, plus 2 to the negative 3. That's a 3, which is real sloppy. Let's see if I can fix that up a little bit. If it's 0, we don't care about it. So we only care about 2 to the negative 2 plus 2 to the negative 3. I'm not good at, I'm not that good in math where I could do that in my head, but 2 to the negative 2 is gonna be 0.25, and then 2 to the negative 3 is gonna be 0.125. To five. If we add those two together, we're going to get 0.375, 7. We just brought the 7 down. It's going to be 0.375. The decimal is already right here. We already have one here. So we'll just make it bigger so we can see. And then we'll bring the 7 down. So our final answer is going to be 7.375, but we're forgetting one thing. Sign bit was negative. Uh, sign bit was one, which means it's negative. So we could bring this this negative sign all the way down here, and there it is. And that's our final answer right there. Negative seven point three seven five is equivalent or the same thing as CEC zero in hexadecimal. If this helped in any way, uh, please leave a like and subscribe.